Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to learn about nodal analysis. In previous videos we have come across mesh and super mesh analysis. Okay, so now uh, like in mesh analysis here also there are certain procedural steps. The first step is to identify whether the given network is planar or non-planar that we need to identify. So how that can be identified? So that was uh, discussed in previous videos. So try to uh, refer those videos. Okay, so mesh and nodal. Now the second step is to identify number of nodes. How many nodes are there that we need to identify? And the third step, you uh, mark the node voltages. So you have to assume the node voltages. If we assume the nodes as 1, 2 and so on like that, then the corresponding voltages will be assumed as V1, V2 and so on. So the nomenclature is all depends on you. Okay, so now the fourth step, at each and every node apply KCL, that is Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, so while you are applying KCL, if the direction of current is not specified in any element, so you have to assume that current direction as always leaving from the node. Okay, now this point is very important that you need to remember. Okay, now after applying KCL, you are going to get nodal equations. After solving these nodal equations, you can able to calculate node voltages. Once you got the node voltages, you may find current in any element or the power dissipation. Okay, so in this way, we are going to apply nodal analysis. So in order to understand this particular nodal analysis, we are having one of the examples that you can see on right side. Okay, so this particular um, example is having one current source and uh, five resistors and uh, the way they were connected that you can observe on the screen. Okay, so what is the first step that we need to understand? We need to observe that whether the given network is planar or non-planar. Since the network is not having any crossovers, we can state that the given network is a planar. So we can apply nodal. Okay, now what is the second step? Second step is to identify number of meshes, sorry, number of nodes. Okay, so here is the first node and here is the second node. How we can identify? At which current will divide? So that point will be considered as node. Okay, now second step is over. Now what is the third step? We need to assume the node voltages. So here I am assuming V1, V2 as my node voltages. And uh, third next step will be uh, applying um, KCL at each and every node. Okay, so now we apply KCL at node 1. Okay, so apply KCL. So before applying this KCL, so in order to have a clarity about uh, how we can do the things exactly, I am taking node 1. Okay. I'm taking node 1 and I, I was just drawing uh, the elements which are connected which are connected to node 1 okay so here this one will be considered as my ground okay reference node okay so R1 again here one more element R2 so this is node 2 okay so one more current source is there okay so this is I1. So if the direction is not specified, you have to take it as always leaving from the node. And we already assume these node voltages as V1, V2. Now we are going to apply KCL at each and every node. Okay. Now what is uh, the statement of KCL? Sum of all the currents entering to a node equal to sum of all the currents leaving that same node. So, uh, here let us assume, uh, first of all, uh, we consider uh, leaving currents. So, here current flowing through R1 plus current flowing through R2, these are all leaving currents which is equal to I1 
because this current is entering i1 is entering towards the node okay now according to ohm's law v equal to ir so i is equal to v by r is the formula now according to that formula what is i r1 so we need to write voltage across r1 so this uh, resistance is connected between node 1 and ground so ground potential is always considered considered as zero volts so now the voltage across r1 will be v1 minus zero so what is v1 minus zero obviously v1 so i'm not going to write that one simply v1 by r1 we may write plus similarly v uh, voltage across r2 so because this r2 is connected between uh, two node voltages v1 and v2 okay so we have to take voltage across this particular resistance r2 so that is obviously we are writing for node 1 so this is our reference so we have to subtract this v2 so therefore voltage across r2 will be v1 minus v2 by resistance is r2 which is equal to i1 so this is how we need to understand okay now if we can rearrange then we'll be getting uh, one equation okay now um, take uh, 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 of v1 plus of minus 1 by r2 into v2 equal to i1 so this will be your first equation okay now we are going to write node 2 equation okay so whatever the procedure that we have followed for node 1 so the same procedure will be applicable for node 2 what you need to do you need to apply kcl so before applying kcl draw the second uh, node and uh, corresponding elements okay so the elements which are connected to node 2 okay so this is r5 r4 one more element is there so this is r2 so this is node 2 i'm not going to write uh, the node uh, number okay so i was just representing uh, node voltages okay now right um, if the current direction is not specified what i said you always assume that the current direction is leaving from the node okay so now we can apply kcl now okay so how we can apply kcl according to ohm's law i equal to v by r and sum of all the currents entering to your node equal to sum of all the currents leaving the same node that is kcl so here we are applying kcl that means current flowing through r2 plus current flowing through r3 plus current flowing through r4 and r5 why i am writing like this because r4 and r5 are connected in series okay now uh, according to ohm's law i already told you know so i equal to v by r so now voltage across resistance r2 and you are writing for node 2 so v2 should be your reference so you have to subtract other end voltage so v2 minus v1 by r2 plus uh, r3 so current through r3 that is v2 minus 0 so that is v2 by r3 plus v2 minus 0 again v2 by resistance of this branch r4 plus r5 equal to 0 if we can rearrange uh, you know in terms of uh, v1 v2 v3 coefficients so it's not v3 v1 v2 you'll be getting second equation so after solving these two equations okay solve equation 1 and 2 you will be able to get what you can get you can get node voltages v1 and v2 once you got v1 v2 values if i ask you to calculate the current flowing through current flowing through r1 it is simply what you can say v1 by r1 so like that you can find the current in any element so once you got the current value and you all already aware of node voltages then you can find power dissipations at any element okay so this is how the nodal analysis should be understood so in order to have uh, some more uh, knowledge so let us have one more example okay so with numericals okay so let's have one example so here is 5 ampere current source and then 10 ohm resistor 
so i'll be drawing this uh, network in a very quicker way five ohm one ohm and uh, let us assume this one as 10 ohms okay so let us consider this particular problem so first step whether the given network is planar or non planar so simple observation it's a planar network we can apply mesh analysis now the second step is to identify number of nodes so here is the first node and here is the second node third step you need to assume the node voltages v1 and v2 okay so now you apply kcl at each and every node so let us consider node 1 and apply kcl okay so consider one uh, first node and draw the elements which are connected to node 1 okay so this is 5 ampere so this is v1 node voltage v1 so this is v2 okay right so if the current direction is not specified always leaving from the node okay so now you apply kcl there is current flowing through 10 ohm resistor plus current flowing through 3 ohm resistor is equal to 5 now voltage across 10 is v1 minus 0 so that is v1 by 10 plus voltage across 3 ohm resistor that is v1 minus v2 by 3 equal to 5 now take v1 out 1 by 10 plus 1 by 3 plus of minus 1 by 3 v2 equal to 5 so solve it you'll be getting first equation now go for node 2 again you apply kcl so consider node 2 so draw the elements which are connected to node 2 So this is 1 ohm, 10 volts and one more resistance is there. So this is 3 ohm. So here the node voltage is V2, here is V1 and the current direction is not specified. Always take leaving from the node. Okay, so apply KCL now. That is current flowing through 3 ohm plus current flowing through 5 ohm plus current flowing through 1 ohm equal to 0. Now voltage across 3 ohm we we are writing for node 2 so v2 should be your reference node so it can't be negative so v1 minus v2 minus v1 by 3 plus v2 minus 0 so that is v2 by 5 plus v2 it's not 0 but you're having a 10 volt source that you need to subtract so v2 minus 10 by 1 equal to 0 so if we can solve we'll be getting equation 2 in terms of v1 v2 so now you need to solve equation 1 and equation 2 once you solve you can able to calculate v1 and v2 values if i ask you to calculate the current flowing through 5 ohm resistor what is your answer so you already wrote the formula current flowing through 5 ohm resistor as v2 by 5 so similarly you can find the current flowing through 1 ohm so what is the formula that you have written so this is simply v2 minus 10 by 1 so like that you can find uh, current through any element in the given network once you got let us uh, find the power dissipation at 5 ohm resistor what is the formula it can be vi it can be v square by r it can be i square r so whatever the form that you chose it doesn't matter you'll be getting the same answer so in this way we can able to calculate uh, the responses in any elements of the given network using nodal analysis usually if the network is having more number of current sources then we will prefer nodal analysis and if the network is having more number of voltage sources we will prefer mesh analysis but it doesn't matter if you are comfortable with nodal you can apply nodal analysis also even though the network is having more number of voltage sources 
okay so uh, this is how the nodal analysis can be done i hope uh, 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 this video will uh, give you some clarity about uh, nodal analysis and how to apply the nodal technique for the given network okay so if you have uh, any any kind of doubts you can comment uh, so that i can answer okay so thank you for watching this video so thanks a lot